Okay, so this is going to be the uh, configuration of the university desktop machines. Notice the machine that I'm using here is not a university machine, it's a virtual machine designed to simulate what we've got at the university. So what I want you to do to start off with is I need you to go to this website, uh, OneDrive, so it's onedrive.ms slash 145C1 capital K9 once you load this up this is going to take you to OneDrive and allow you to download some batch files so make sure this is ticked click on download and then do a save as onto the desktop okay so once it's there you'll be able to find it the next thing to do is to right click and extract all so whenever you download something you always want to extract it so you can see all the files so with all these files now what I want you to do is I want you to highlight them all, right click copy, go into your computer, then go into your S drive, which is uh, your H drive I should say, which is your S number, then right click and paste. Um, so what, ha what we have here is we have a folder that's going to contain all the tutorials and so forth, the advanced web bash file which will set everything up, a backup file which will actually restore all your stuff from the computer to your H drive at the end of the class, a control for the uh, exam web server that we're using, and a registry hack, which should set up expression if the university system lets it. So if I show you on the computer, on your C drive, you'll have this folder called XAMPP, and inside here, this is where we'll be running our web server. Okay, so now let's get this all configured. So back in it your H drive. So if you double click the advanced web, so I'm going to run mine as the administrator and then we just let it run like this. So the first thing it does is it stops the um, IIS system which is the uh, web server that automatically runs on our systems at uni and then I'm just going to allow the access for the Apache and that's it. So that's now got the Apache web server up and running and the MySQL web server up and running. Best way to test this okay so you can leave these guys up is you load up your browser again and then in the address bar you type in the words localhost and this is what you want to see where it just says index of it shows that you have an empty folder there and at this point in time that's perfect so that's the university system set up